And what we want to do is, is not run around like the 85% and believe that cash is king. Cash is not king. Credit is king. For instance, Oprah, well, she's worth about $4 billion. Oprah does not have $4 billion on her mattress, okay? Oprah, in fact, lives in a $50 million home. People need to understand that the 85% are kind of being duped because they think they have to work their butt off. Work, 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 so they can get fine things, you know, fine clothes and, and, and you know, beautiful homes. People don't realize that they can actually walk in with a corporation and say, I want some money. I don't want some money, in fact. This entity, a corporation, which is a person wants some money. Now let's go back to Oprah or Trump or Bezos, anybody that you may know, the richest people you know. Guess what? They don't own anything. Trump is worth how much? 20, 40 billion dollars? Bezos is a hundred billion dollars. He doesn't have a hundred billion dollars in his trunk. It won't fit. Guess what? It's the corporation's money. So corporation has credit. The, they, they remove themselves from all liability and they say the corporation wants to get some of that money that all these hard workers have put in the bank and they want some out. So that's basically how it works. What I'm trying to stress here is that cash is not king.